people's resistance to oppression and their yearning for freedom inspire me to fight against poverty and to stand up for the rights of those who are different. I am one of many independent senators whose different voices have passed law to help make Ireland a society of equals. I think this referendum is an exercise in such political cynicism where we're being offered the present Senate which is extremely hard to defend in terms of its lack of democracy and the fact that it has been really used as a creature of the political parties um, or we're, we're being offered no Senate at all. So what will we lose? We will lose the opportunity to have a, a vehicle for that kind of political reform where the Senate can be truly uh, reconstituted um, to fulfil its real purpose, which is to give people in Irish life who are trusted by people, who have experience in diverse uh, ways of living, but also to have a more far-sighted view of what the country needs, because the doll of its nature is totally and absolutely preoccupied by the retention of power uh, and by the immediate. The government wants to take away the power of a second opinion with no public debate on what will replace it. Dirma, do you think there will be real consequences for the people if the Shannon were to be abolished? There's no doubt that this is going to uh, affect the way in which governance is carried out. There are already a lot of concerns about the extent to which it's concentrated in the hands of a tiny elite. And I think that this is going to exacerbate that. I don't think the contempt that is being shown by the government by not considering reform is a contempt that should be rewarded. If the Shannon were reformed, it could become a people's Shannon. This is what it would look like. One person, one vote along with immigrants and Northern Ireland residents, there would be an equal number of women and men. And senators would have practical experience and knowledge in farming, business, education, human rights and culture. Senator Fergal Quinn and I have put these ideas into a bill that could be passed by Christmas. If the people say yes, then Shannon Aaron will be gone forever. But if the no vote wins, then we will have a real opportunity to put in place a people's Shannon.